All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we move forward with uh, getting ready for MP1. So at this point, you should have made those small changes to prepare for MP1 that we went through in the last video. Um, and you should still, but you're still set up to work on MP0 and you should still be receiving the same score that you received last time. Whenever you make changes like this to a project, you wanna work forward as sort of cautiously as possible. But what we're about to do is actually take a pretty big step. So um, what we're gonna do here is if you look at your, um, your project, you have this file called MP0 test. That contains the test suites for MP0. When you're done with this step, you're gonna have a file called MP1 test that's gonna contain the test suites for MP1. The other change you're gonna to need to make is over here in this grade.yaml file that's at the root of your project. This is what you use to tell us what you want to grade when you submit and what you want the local grader to grade. Um, right now, it's set up to grade checkpoint zero because that's the only one that you've ever worked on. We're gonna change this to checkpoint one as we get started on checkpoint uh, one. Okay, so, so let's, do, let's get the test suites first. Um, one thing I wanna warn you about before we start, once you add these test suites to your project, your code is not going to compile anymore. So those 90 points or 80 points or 70 points you earned on MP0, it's going down to zero uh, right away and there's gonna be a lot of problems with your project right off the bat. I will show you how to address those and get the project quickly to a state where you can make more incremental forward progress um, in the next video. But I just wanna prepare you for that because that's something that sometimes people are like, oh gosh, you know, did I break something? It's like, no, the test suites that you're about to uh, obtain rely on features of the app that you haven't created yet. And so they're, they're not gonna compile uh, right away. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, so if you, if you go to the link that's, that's actually on the, the webpage to the, to the test suites, um, I don't know if this will download as a file for you or if it'll just come up as text. Um, if it comes up as text, you're welcome to just cut and paste it. And then what we'll do is we'll go over here. Uh, we'll say new Java class. We're gonna call this MP1 test. Um, you know, it's gonna helpfully now, now this is an important step. We do want to add this file to Git, okay? If you, for, if you miss this, you can do this later when you commit, uh, but I'm gonna hit add because I do want, so the way Git works, when you create a new file in the project, you have to tell Git about it and you have to tell Git to track that file so that it knows to save changes to it in the future. We're actually gonna have to create a couple new files to complete uh, this MP checkpoint, and we'll have to do this every time. Android Studio will nicely pop up a dialogue message saying, hey, do you wanna do this? And um, the right answer is add. Okay, now it's it's filled in this, this stuff here for me, which I don't need. I'm gonna delete that, and instead I'm gonna go ahead and paste the stuff that I downloaded. Now, like I promised, right out of the box, you're gonna see all sorts of red stuff, like course activity, course. These are references to files that you have not yet created. Um, if you go down here, you know, there's a description of the test suites as usual, uh, the test suites that you're gonna to need to pass, but there's a bunch of places like here where, you know, if we go through the error list, we're gonna see lots of can't resolve symbol, um, can't resolve this method because you haven't added this callback yet, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So again, there's no course activity because you haven't created that yet. Completing this checkpoint requires creating a new course model and then also a new course activity. But we're gonna go through that together. So just don't panic. Right, this, this is okay. This is the way things are supposed to, 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 to be. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's leave that there. Um, and then we're also gonna go over to our grade.yaml. So we've done one of the two things we need to do. Um, and then we'll change this to checkpoint one. Very, very simple change, okay? Now let's run the grader. Um, what's gonna happen now is that the project's not going to compile. There won't be any check style errors though, so that's good. So we're actually gonna get about 10 points out of the box. Just nice. At least we're not starting from from some absolute uh, zero. Um, but the grader is going to warn you that that your uh, that your uh, code didn't compile, uh, and there'll be all these errors from the test suites that we just had. But this is good. Okay, this is actually what we want. Again, I would encourage you at this point to commit um, your work to say you know added MP1 test suites. Um, that's fine. Uh, this will show me that I added this whole file and then I made this small change to grade.yaml, hit commit. Um, don't worry about this message. You won't get that message. This is just because of how things I've set things up. I, in this case, I'm not gonna review these errors. I know why they're there. I know that the project's broken right now. That's okay. Um, 
but I just want to get to the point where I've got those MP1 test suites in place. Okay, so we're good, right? So at this point, what we've accomplished is we have the uh, project with the MP1 test suites that we just uh, downloaded. If you end up downloading those as a file, so let's go back here. Uh, if your browser downloads it as a file or you can choose save as here and you can put it in your downloads directory, then what you need to do is you need to get that file from wherever your computer downloaded it to into this directory. It needs to end up in your project in this spot next to MP0 test. That's where it goes. Once you've got this, you are ready to begin work on MP1. To get you off to a really sort of fast flying start, in the next video what I'll do is I'll walk through kind of the minimal changes you need to make to your project to get it to the point where we can remove these compiler errors and actually start uh, running the tests.